afternoon my name is kartik narayan and i am legal intern in lexus and company today i am going to discuss uh, the essentials of a valid contract so what is a contract and before knowing what is a contract we have to know what is an agreement so agreement is a promise or set of promise having consideration for each other and uh, an agreement which is enforced by law is called a contract so for performing a contract or before entering a contract there are some condition which we have to take care uh, then only we can say that the contract which we are going to enter is valid and can be enforced by law so the first and foremost important uh, condition is offer and acceptance so there should be some offer and the acceptance uh, by the other party so then only that contract will be valid there should be one party to offer something and there should be one party to accept that offer and also the person who accept the offer should intimate the other party about his, about his acceptance that he is accepting the offer and he is agreeing the condition which is mentioned in the contract and when the other party get the intimation uh, that offer and acceptance criteria is satisfied so in this condition is lawful consideration so lawful consideration also very important uh, for making a contract a valid contract even though there are some exceptions so this is a general rule that lawful consideration is important a promise to do something or provide something without anything in return will not be enforceable by law and that will be not valid so that is a general rule because there should be some consideration and uh, uh, and the third per third condition is the competence of competency of party so there are some parties who can't engage in contract uh, the parties like minor Uh, the pe- the person who is having unsound mind and any other person who is forbidden by any other law uh, which is time being in force uh, from entering a contract so these are the three categories uh, who can and en- who can engage in a contract so as far as the minor is concerned uh, they can engage in contract because according to the in- majority act uh, the majority majority age is 18 so those who are under 18 years of age can't engage in contract and if they engage in contract that contract is void ab initio that contract is not enforceable by law that contract is not voidable that is contract is void that is contract is void and uh, the person of unsound mind so a person who is unsound mind engages in a contract uh, that contract is not enforceable because he is having that unsound mind and uh, the law is not allowed to enter a contract by a person who is having unsound mind and if a person who is forbidden by any other law uh, which is in force Uh, by entering a contract he is also not competent to enter a contract so these are the uh, parties which who can enter a contract and also uh, the fourth parameter or the fourth thing uh, which we have to take care for before entering a contract is free consent so we have to make sure that the contract is uh, is having free consent and uh, we can say uh, that, that the contract we entered uh, or the contract which is made is having free consent if it doesn't have certain parameters like there is no misrepresentation there is no fraud there is no under influence there is no mistake then we can say that that is not uh, that is that contract is engaged in free consent so if someone uh, is misrepresented by someone about something which is there as a condition of contract and because of that reason he signed the contract then that uh, misrepresentation is there and that contract is voidable that is not void but that is voidable uh, to the agreed party so he can go to court and say that uh, because of this i signed the contract so misrepresentation fraud if uh, a party try to uh, fr- fraudulently did something to make other parties to sign the contract so that contract is also voidable uh, from the agreed party uh, in respect to agreed party so the th- mistake is also if someone uh, mist- mistakenly sign uh, by thinking about something uh, they have signed the cro- contract so that is also one uh, thing that that is uh, that doesn't have free consent free consent is very important and next thing is lawful object contract can be made only uh, with respect to uh, anything which is a co- which, which which doesn't violate the cons- uh, provisions of law so uh, no contract can be made if it is something uh, if there is any stipulation which is forbidden by law or if it is against uh, the provisions of any other law or if it is forbidden uh, or if it damages any person's reputations or property uh, so if it is uh, in the opinion of court that is immoral or that is against the public policy uh, that contract is not enforceable that contract is not valid so that is also important lawful object is also uh, one of the thing that is needed for uh, a valid contract 
and some contract is uh, required to be registered and writing and registered so if if there is any specific condition uh, that has to be done accordingly then only that contract can be valid certainty is important so the next parameter is certainty certainty in the sense that there should be uh, you know the terms of contract must, must be certain if there is any ambiguity or if there are some cert, uh, conditions which is having a double meaning or this which is having some ambiguity that contract that stipulation of that contract is not enforceable for instance if i want to uh, stay for 10 days in a particular hotel and i am signing a contract for that i have to mention the hotel name and i have to mention that 10 days i want to stay over there if i am mentioning that i want to stay in a hotel uh, i want to stay in a hotel so that time there is not enforceable because there is no ambiguity there is no mentioning of the hotel name there is no mentioning of how many days i have to stay over there so that is uh, not enforceable possibility of performance if i am uh, engaging in contract uh about a thing that i also know that is that can't be performed then that contract is not enforceable uh so impossibility uh, actually there is a thing like doctrine of doctrine of impo impossibility that is not uh that is not valid and that type of contract is not enforceable so these are some things which we have to take care before we entering a contract uh so that's all thank you and have a nice day